Moose Jaw. Have you ever heard of, of that brand? I, I didn't hear of that brand. That was until about, I don't know, three weeks ago when I saw my cousin and he had a t-shirt that said Moose Jaw on it. And uh, I said, what's that? I never heard of that, that brand. And he said, of course you haven't heard about it because you're not cool. And uh, you know, whether that's true or not, it doesn't really matter. But it got me curious. So I reached out to Moose Jaw and did a little research on it. And, you know, the question is, you know, how is it that my cousin, like, hears about this brand and he, like, see, sees someone in an airport and they're both wearing it and they're like, eh, eh, they nod to one another. You know, how does that happen? You know, they, they don't advertise, you know, how does that come about? So it got me curious. So I reached out to the company and had a chance to meet up with the creative director of the business. And what I figured out was this. They... Um, were authentic as a brand before being authentic was in fashion. Like now, every brand's trying to be authentic. I, I don't know what that means because when I was a brand manager, like when I was a brand manager on Advil, right, big brand, we literally took six months and like focus groups and then we went to focus groups and then we took all that information then we went to quantitative and then we did more research and then we produced like five different animatic 30 second spots, like the of animated ones. And then we pump them into consumers' homes, right? So, but, but told them that they were watching a sitcom and told them, give us your opinion about the sitcom. We were, didn't care about the sitcom. We asked them at the end, yeah, do you remember the sitcom? This was a test thing. But what we really cared about, what did you think of the ads? Six months to find out what to say to someone in 30 seconds. What is the right form and right combination of words and imagery to influence you to the, what I want you to do, to get you to comply? Six months. The, that is about as opposite, as authentic as you can get. It's about as calculated as you can get, right? But that's marketing. At least that was marketing. Authenticity is not that. So I guess the way that you get your cousin, you know, to say that to you is to be authentic. And, and this brand was authentic before it was cool to be authentic. Um, so Success Leaves Clues, not only here, but also, interesting book, Chasing Cool. A friend of mine, Noah Kerner, wrote it. There's some interesting stuff in here and is worth taking a look. So I hope, uh, I hope you enjoy.